Hello, good afternoon. I'll be talking to you on documentation and quality. On our way, we will see what is documentation, what are the purposes of documentation, types of documentation, guidelines for documentation, and we will see what are the types of medical records, documents seen in a medical record, how to have custody and confidentiality of maintaining uh, hospital records, how can we request for medical records, and finally, a small note on nurses and documentation. Effective patient care documentation is as important as the delivery of care itself. It is an integral part of healthcare practice and an important tool to ensure high quality client care. If you have not documented the service, it's, it didn't happen. Legally, the records created servers, the best evidence for patient information obtained and shared, the care rendered, the role of the healthcare provider, and whether the professional and legal standards of care were met. <coughs> health records are maintained in every setting where a healthcare professional interact with patients like OPD and inpatient units based on certain criteria. For example, the patient's diagnosis, procedure, or even the acuity of care required like ICUs. Healthcare professionals who document and collect patient health information should understand medical record or health information laws, ensure that they act responsibly and in compliance with applicable laws and identify when expert legal advice. As a definition, documentation is defined as recording patient findings following principles of medical documentation and report writing. Patient clinical record should contain objective informa information, subjective information, where six C's, the client words, clarity, completeness, conciseness, chronological order, and confidentiality is maintained. And then third point is details of patient care. So patient clinical record contains both objective and subjective information. And then what are the purposes of documentation? The first and foremost is the quality of care. It provides evidence that care was necessary, describe responses to care, describe any changes made in the plan of treatment and care. The second point is coordination of health care, plan interventions, decision making about ongoing interventions, evaluation of patients' progress, and this is remembers. Then other purposes are communicating and providing continuity of care, accountability and professional responsibility, legal document, financial billing or reimbursement, education and research purposes, risk management, audit, monitoring, and uh, quality assurance, facility practice. What are the characteristics of good documentation? The characteristics of good documentation are accessibility of medical record, accuracy of medical record, correctness of information provided, and the comprehensiveness of the medical record, the consistency of the information, and the relevant record. Then there are different types of documentation. It can be either narrative, where information is written, then SOAP. This is uh, organized according to subjective, objective, assessment, and plan. Then POMR, that is organized according to patient problems. Then next one is function or outcome reporting. Just like SOAP note that demonstrates the effect of implementation on functional limitations. Then the other forms are DAP, data assessment plan, ADMI, that is assessment, diagnosis, intervention, monitoring, and evaluation. These type of documentations are 
available according to the hospital policy we may be using <coughs> guidelines for documentation there are about 14 guidelines given by different agencies the first one is objective and factual documentation second point is timeliness third point is use of space fourth point is use of abbreviations fifth one is follow up sixth one is correcting errors seventh one recording medical administ medicine administration then eighth one recording assistance with the care ninth designated recorder in emergency situations 10th clarification of orders 11th recording a telephone order 12th interaction with other healthcare professionals 13th client education 14th is documenting an incident in healthcare record let us see one by one objective or fact factual documentation this is the first point <coughs> documentation should be relevant related to the client care not opinions or assumptions objective documentation is the result of direct observation and measurement example if a client was suctioned the documentation should include why the client needed suctioning what the outcome was and the client's response to suctioning suctioning then a recording should be cc flat this means it should be concise complete factual legible accurate and timely then use appropriate terminology consistent format for documentation and take credit of care given and sign completely using first initial full legal surname and designation this is very important you have to take credit of what you have done whether for good or bad you should sign it with your full signature then timeliness documentation of an intervention should never be completed before it takes place that means before doing something you should not record you may be thinking that you will do it but if you forget what will you do so better document only after doing the procedure documentation in chronological succession reveals change pattern in a client's health status all inpatient record must be completed within 7 days from the date of discharge but preferably within 24 hours differ this differ according to agency policy most of the hospital wants the discharge file to be sent after completing to the medical record section within 7 days and uh, we know that most of the time the patients have to wait for a discharge summary even if you write the discharge summary the procedure for sending the medical record is not over you have to look into the medical record uh, where some lacuna is found that has to be completed all this has to be done and within 7 days you have to transfer this medical record from your ward to the medical record section and all operative procedure report must be completed immediately after surgery all medical records entries are to be dated the time entered and should be signed then frequency and amount of details documented are detected by the facility or agency policies and procedures the complexity of the health problems the degree of client's health risk and risk of procedure or care then certain electronic methods of authenticating the medical record including methods such as password access codes or key cards may be allowed or provided certain requirements are met then use of space documentation must not have empty lines or spaces and the time when assessment and interventions were completed must be noted see if you are writing one line and then leaving one another line then going to the third line what will happen there is a space left the middle line will be left people can write something there also and this may uh, go for forgery so better don't leave empty spaces in between 
then use of abbreviations healthcare professional need to know what abbreviations are acceptable in their agency and use only accepted abbreviations fifth point is follow up follow up of assessment observations or interventions must be recorded failed attempt to reach a physician or other care provider the follow up action taken and the client's response to interventions etc need to be documented then correcting errors you have to remember three aspects here whether you are correcting an error in a paper format or in an electronic format or you wanted to uh, introduce something which has been missed out or not written in the three areas that's documents in paper format to correct an error in a paper based healthcare record system use slide rule slide rule is uh, cross through the words only with the same with a single line and insert your initials along with the date and time that is slide and then enter the correct information or explanation hope you understood the slide single line insert initials then along with the date and time and then enter the correct information that is slide and some hospital uses other format like writing void or error or mistake and entry etc along with initials of the registered uh, employee when an error is made in the medical record entry the original entry must not be obliterated and inaccurate information should still be accessible see if you made an error you can correct the error by using slide rule you are not supposed to obliterate the corrections you leave the error as such crossing it with the slide using slide rule and then enter the correct one afterwards but you should not obliterate what is written there don't try to erase it like that then again the correction must indicate the reason for correction and the correction entry must be dated and signed by the person making uh, the revision okay corrections to electronic records examples of documentation errors that are corrected by addendum include wrong date location duplicate documents incomplete documents or other er errors the amended version must be reviewed and signed by the provider sometimes it may be necessary to recreate a document example wrong work type or to move a document for example if it was originally posted incorrectly or indexed into the uh, to the incorrect patient record then when a pertinent entry was missed or not written what what we should do the other must meet the following requirement identify the new entry as late entry then enter the correct date and time do not attempt to give the appearance that the entry was made on a previous date or an earlier time the entry must be signed identify or refer to the date and the circumstances for which the late entry or addendum is written when making a late entry document as soon as possible there is no time limit for writing a late entry however the longer the time lapses the less reliable the entry becomes so at the earliest we, we must uh, correct it we should not wait for a long time then recording medicine medi medication administration document the administration of medications immediately after its administration the person administering medicine only should document it no proxy documentation of medication is allowed uh, registered nurses should only record medications they have administered then pertinent information to record 
as far as medicine administration is concerned related to the process of administering medications the first thing is that for example uh, that is self administration whether the patient has taken by himself or not then what are the questions the patient asked whether the client refused medication or not then next related to interventions client education what education you have given whether the medicine has to be taken in empty stomach or the medicine has to be taken after food like that communication with the prescriber if you have any doubt with the medicine you may contact the prescriber that is the doctor who prescribed the medicine then the third point is outcome of the care the therapeutic drug response and side effects in that then recording assistance with care this is specifically uh, important for uh, nurses when an rn that is a registered nurse assists another rn in providing care for example when assisting a, another rn to ambulate a patient or insert an iv they are the rn providing care documents the actions and the client's responses and notes that another care provider assisted there is no need to name the person who assisted in critical incidents such as fall record the name of the person who assisted then designate a recorder in a recorder in emergency situations when acting as a designated recorder the recorder identifies the person involved and the care they provided that must be clearly written then 10 point clarification of orders never guess or rely on group consensus to interpret an order you may not be able to read the prescription written by the doctor you should not assume it is written as something else so if you have doubt you have to contact the prescribing doctor itself not discuss with somebody else and administer medicine or uh, do the procedure you have to contact the prescriber who have written that nurses should clearly record the medicines by clarifying even the spelling with the dose and route with the with time and date put the signature of rn with rn number and write telephonic order or prescription if it is telephonic order it must be get countersigned by the physician at the earliest on arrival to the unit because if you are taken a, a telephonic order you should get it countersigned by the physician who then documenting telephonic order write down the time and date on the physician's order sheet write down the order given by the physician read the order back to the physician to ensure it is accurately recorded record the physician's name on the physician order sheet state telephonic order print your name sign the entry and identify your status if you are a nurse write nurse if you are an rn write rn if you are a physiotherapist write physiotherapist like that if in, if you are somebody else write your designation it must be get countersigned by the physician on the earliest on our then interactions with the uh, other health professionals record the outcomes or agreed upon plans of action and the names of the people involved when it is needed developing care plan or documenting on flow sheets completing narrative or computerized documentation and participating in team or family conferences in all these situation we may be interacting with each other as health professionals so all these need to be recorded then client education document all client education with the extent of the client's understanding written education entry should be with the date and time and should include a brief description of the material taught for example if you have taught them the need for uh, diabetic diet following a prescribed diet so you write the material taught is on diabetic diet the methods used for teaching written visual verbal auditory or instruct instructional aids used you may be teaching them as a 
lecture you may be using some models or some pictures all this has to be written what you have used what method of teaching was used what uh, teaching aids were used then involvement of and the interaction between the client and the family in teaching learning process then evaluation of teaching objectives with validation of client comprehension and learning whether the client understood what you taught or not for that you can uh, recapitulate ask few questions and write whether they understood or not then the 14th point uh, documenting and incident an incident in the healthcare record a brief description of events without leaving the essence of incidents and setting include the names of people involved keep the time and date of the incidents this is the last point in the then medical see types of medical records usually we talk about three types of medical records that is the personal health record electronic medical record electronic health record then other records available in the hospital are patient clinical record individual staff record ward or unit records administrative records with the ward records there are a lot of ward records you know about it most of you have seen so many records in a ward there will be a circular record it will circulate among uh, staff what is happening if there is something new about it and all those things then there is a rounds book the duty roster ward intent book ward inventory register staff patient assignment record student attendance and patient assignment book what are the documents usually seen in a medical record there will be identification information of the patient medical history medication information family history admission assessment treatment history medical directives graphic sheet follow sheets vital signs io chart that is in intake output chart operative notes lab results consent forms progress notes nurses notes patient education records financial information that is about in insurance if available if they how health then importance of medical records it is the most important part of the records documented as far as patient is concerned these are scientific and legal evidence to patient that his or her case is intelligently managed avoid duplication of work information for medical and legal research aids in the promotion of health care health and care uh, legal protection to hospital and the nurse legal and ethical value ethical aspects adequate medical documentation assures patient confidentiality and ensures that the standards of care being met doctors and other health professionals have an obligation to treat illness to the best of their ability uh, in regard to information documented in a patient's medical record then legal aspects police authorities and court can summon medical records under the due process of law limitation period for filing a case uh, paper is maximum of 2 3 years under limitation act that is mm, medical council of india says that we need to keep a treatment uh, record of a patient for 3 years preserving the inpatient records in a standard perform of for 3 years from the commencement of treatment that is what mca is asking but according to consumer protection act it is up to 2 years this is based on section 69 1 of the consumer protection act 20. then other legal uses establish the applicable standard of care evidence in civil actions evidence involving credentialing process like uh, nabh uh, uh, iso etc then disciplinary proceedings of healthcare professionals 
establish the cause of death, insanity conditions, patient's physical conditions, determine blood alcohol content, medical reimbursement for insurance companies, and the most important thing, defending against or preventing legal actions, workers' compensation actions, disability determinations, and claims of negligent or improper health care, and is and is generally admissible at a trial. Contain the other uses, contain substa substantiate billing for reimbursement, which I have already told you, need for present and future therapy or medical services. Uh, this will help you to find out what was done, past medical history. The consequences of altered, incomplete and non-existent records can be legally and physically catastrophic. So remember that you should have your records properly uh, kept track. Uh, it is easy to track like that in the medical records section. You should have it. It also serves to communicate with others so as to patient study can be determined. Then about custody and confidentiality of the medical record. The medical record is confidential and is protected from unauthorized disclosure by law and must be sent to medical records department or area upon completion of discharge of the patient. The medical record content shall meet all state and central government legal regulatory and accreditation requirement and timely completion. Sometimes shadow files may be kept in the ward but the original file has to be sent to the medical records department after discharge that is within then who may document entries in the medical record multidisciplinary notes are there employees of the healthcare system who are designated by the system only should enter patient details in medical record they are doctors nurses other health providers like dietitian technologists counselors msws physiotherapists and other therapists then how can we request for a medical record if you are doing a retrospective study you may have to go for a backfire there you have to request for medical records how will you request for it the health information management service staff will process the request for medical records for the purpose of treatment payment health operations and also for research all charts physically removed from medical record storage areas will be logged using computerized tracking system. Workforce members who access medical records for payment or healthcare operations are responsible to access only the amount of information in the medical records which is necessary to complete the job responsibilities. You are not supposed to study the whole medical record you may be you may need how much was the finance what drugs was given what was the treatment plan only that area you need to look into the other parts are not uh, then healthcare operations patient medical records may be assessed for routine healthcare operations purposes including peer review committee activities quality management reviews documentation reviews and for teaching. Treatment, healthcare providers who are directly involved in the care of the patient may access full medical record in accordance with the policy of the hospital. This may be for planning better care. Nurses and documentation. Why I wanted to tell this, some of uh, the participants are, most of the participants are nurses. Nurses must not indulge in malpractices. A nurse has the right to refuse to assist any medical practitioner if he or she indulges in malpractice. So, this is certain important things a nurse must remember. All what I have talked so far is important for all. But for nurses, usually they take telephone orders. Orders are accepted over the telephone are generally made without the physician's direct assessment of the client's condition. So only the nurse gives the assessment to the
physician through phone so the major responsibility comes over the nurse your assessment should not be a failure you should assess properly and give clear picture to the physician for getting a prescription through telephone orders and this need to be documented i have already uh, told how to write a telephone order and on site verbal orders also have the potential for error and are avoided unless in an emergency situation such as a cardiac arrest nurses need to be aware of the agency policy with regard to accepting and documenting on site verbal orders only registered nurses take verbal orders and even telephone orders pertaining to then how are the after the fact notes developed by nurses for potential use in the future handled there are occasions when nurses writes notes after the fact that is example one day later one week later etc this is most often to provide clarification following an incident or an unexpected client outcome nurses usually write these notes while the event is in current is current in the nurses memory in case of an investigation or lawsuit at a later date so you forgetting should write at the earliest nursing students and documentation they are not registered nurses they must record separately and get it verified by registered nurses then enter it in the documents and signed by them counter signed by the consent registered nurse no teachers or clinical instructors counter sign as the patient is not under their care lot of controversy present in this matter but actually the teachers should not counter sign as the teachers are not taking care of the patient directly in nutshell nurses documents are legal documents all legal documents needs protection nurses are professionals they are liable to be sued if nurses follow directives of documentation future litigation can be reduced for them all litigation come from dissatisfaction on care provided see that your patients are satisfied with your then florence nightingale pledge the foundation for modern nursing ethics it has four points live a pure life and practice faithfully do not administer any harmful drug maintain and elevate the standard of the profession devote to the care of the patient these four points are very important and uh, when you are considering documentation this is much more important as a conclusion any written or electronically generated information about a client that describe client status or the care or services provided to that client care not documented is care not done remember medical records are legal documents it protects you and your organization from legal and criminal endeavors these are the reference